All Aboard, bringing you board games tonight on All Aboard. In the thing, a research station has been infiltrated by an alien with the ability to assimilate living organisms. We will have to maintain the research station while hunting down the alien before escaping to warn humanity of the impending danger. Hi guys, my name is Clyde. And my name is Pat. You're very welcome to All Aboard. At this point, we would like to ask you to please turn on your Klingon subtitles, so if we make any rule errors, we can place them there. And if you spot any mistake, please leave a comment below with the time code, and we'll add them to the subtitles. Also, please be aware that we backed this game on Kickstarter, so some of the components will be different from the retail version. Also, this game was originally designed as a 4-8 to eight player game, but we'll be playing the 1-3 to three player fully cooperative variant that is in the rulebook and has some significant differences from the main game. So we have the board set up here and one thing that you should know about the 1-3 to three player game is that it's almost set up like a 6 player game. We use 6 characters, which we've set out here, and we also have our six characters here on the side of the board, which we've chosen randomly. And each of those then has a roll card on it. So there's eight roll cards altogether and six of them are human and two of them are alien. So we have picked six of them to go on our characters here and there's a possibility of one, two, or actually zero aliens on this, right? We don't know what they're going to be yet. Then we have our tokens here on the suspicion track and we have the alien standee here on the six player section of the suspicion track. We have one fuel here to mark the rescue helicopter's fuel status and the rescue helicopter is over here. We have six damage tokens in the radio room. There's 14 barrels of fuel in the warehouse. The pantry is filled with food. There's four damage tokens on the base helicopter and one damage token on the snowcat. And the weapons deck and the items deck are set up as explained in the rules for one to three players. We have the location card for the kennel here under the four dogs and the weather table is the one for six players. And as the last player to watch the thing, I start with the leader token. So I'm going to go first. And then we have these three action dice and they're used to replace the cards that you use in the four to eight player game. Okay, and then finally we have this weather die and this will determine what the weather is and that will tell us what we need to do for base maintenance. Okay, so the characters we're going to be playing with today are, I have McCready, Clark and Knowles. And I have Dr. Blair, Copper and Childs. Okay, so do you want to tell us the abilities of your characters? Okay, so Dr. Blair, when he is in the laboratory and he is assigned the use action, he can draw an additional token. Okay. So that would be here, yeah? Yeah. And for Copper, when he is in the warehouse and assigned a use action, he may draw three cards, skip one and discard the other two. Okay. So that would be over there. Yep, and that's Are for the, these items, yeah. the item deck. And for Childs, when he is in the boiler room and he is assigned a use action, he may move one additional fuel token. Okay, mm -hmm. all very useful. Okay, and so for McCready, when you are in the armory and you're assigned a use action, you may draw three cards, keep one, and discard the other two. And then Clark can ignore dogs in all locations. And finally, Knowles, when you are in the kitchen and you are assigned a use action, you satisfy the requirements of the base by moving a single food token instead of two. Oh, that will be very useful for us to not starve. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the cards here said when you're assigned a use action card, but in the one to three player game, we actually have these dice instead of cards. So let me take you through the phases and how the game works. So the first phase is weather conditions and that is just rolling the weather die to see what weather we're going to get. Next is base maintenance. So that's when we come over here to the weather table and we'll have to maintain the base and move the rescue helicopter based on the rolls that we get for the weather. After that then is character movement and that's just placing our characters into the different rooms around the base to take different actions. After that then are the alien actions and that only happens if we have an exposed alien. Then we move on to character actions and that's when each of the characters in the different rooms take the actions that the room allows them to take. 
and after all the actions have been taken that we want to take then we move everybody back to the leisure room and that's where they can exchange items. The next step after that then is testing so if we have any blood bags or if we have a flamethrower and a wire then we can carry out tests to see if characters are alien or human. And the next step then is food consumption and that's when we use our food rations. And after that then the dogs will move around the base, the leader will change and the alien will move down the suspicion track, one towards the suspicion tokens, right? Okay, so the first thing we do then is roll the weather die. And it stormy. is stormy. That's okay. not good. No. All right, so that means that we use three fuel from the boiler room. Okay, three fuel will us out. And we use two fuel from the generator. Okay, and we don't have the freezer and we do not have, we, we haven't. haven't called the helicopter yet. That's right. <laughs> okay, so that's the first two phases and next we're on to character movement. So what do we want to do here? Well, we definitely need, need to get some, some oil. <laughs> oil back. Yeah, I need to get some fuel back. I can bring Charles to the boiler room because he can take two oil. Okay. All right. So I'd say McCready is going to move down here to the armory because mm -hmm. he has an ability to search that deck. And I think that we need a weapon. Okay. And one of us should go to the generator as well. Right. Well... Knowles has the food ability. So I'm going to move him mm -hmm. in there. Right. So... This guy here, Clark, he has the ability to ignore dogs and that doesn't affect us. So he can either come down here or we need somebody to repair over here if you want to take care of that section down there. Because mm, I have a Dr. Blair is definitely going to the laboratory so we can start uh, testing our guys if they're human or alien. Okay. And Childs is going to the boiler and yeah, probably I can bring copper there. Well, the worst that it can go down is two and we still have two fuel on it. So I think that we're okay on it just for now. Cause, okay. Yeah, because I just think that we should call the rescue helicopter. It's going to take us six mm -hmm. rounds to be able to repair that, right? Okay. But we also should open our option to be able to escape from the snow cut. But yeah. We need to repair that too, right? Maybe, so instead of the repair up here, maybe I'll go down here? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. let's do that. Okay, so your three guys are out. Yeah, and just let me explain why we're there. So the armory allows you to get weapons. So normally you can draw two weapons and keep one, but McQueedy's ability allows him to draw three weapons and keep one, or three cards. And then down here, the snowcat is one of the ways that we can escape from the base and it's damaged at the moment. So we need to fix it by taking a repair action. And we also have to make sure it has, because we're playing six characters, we need to make sure it has four fuel. Then over here, as regards the food. So normally if you put a character into the kitchen, he can then use an action to take two food in there. And that's discarded at the end of the round during the food consumption phase. But with Nod's ability, he only needs to take one food and that still satisfies the food requirements for all of the characters. Now, if nobody had gone in there, we would have had to take four food out of the pantry. So we need to actually yeah. cook the food, right, to, to conserve it. All right, all and right. your okay. three characters. So I am going to definitely put Childs in the boiler room because Childs can uh, take two oil. Good idea, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I am going to take a Blair in the laboratory to start getting some test kits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice, okay. And uh, if we're going to repair the snow cut, we will need the key from the warehouse. That's yeah. right, yes. So after we have enough fuel and this is repaired, we also need to get the key item. And there's two sets of keys in this deck over here, the item deck that's in the warehouse. So I'll bring Copper there because his ability is he can draw three cards and keep one. Okay. Okay, so I think that's it. Okay, so that's character movement. So next we would normally then have the alien phase, but we don't have any exposed aliens out here yet. So we just skip that phase for now and we move on to the character actions. Okay, so the way that that works is the leader is going to roll three dice here. We have three action dice. These dice have 
two repair actions on them. They have two use actions on them. They have one alien threat advance and they have one sabotage. So the repair action is going to allow somebody in a damaged area such as the radio room or the snow cat to repair one damage. The use side will allow a character to take the action in the room that they're in. Then this alien threat advance moves the alien one space down along the threat, along the suspicion track. And then finally the sabotage will take the sabotage action and that's different depending on which room we are in. So what we do then is we roll these three dice and okay this is actually perfect for an example. So the leader then will roll these dice and then assign them to one of the characters. Now in this case we have one alien suspicion advance or alien threat advance side. We have one use and one repair. So we look and see what we want to prioritize. And let's say I want to assign this to McCready down here. So I want McCready to be able to use that action. So he gets assigned all three dice. Now he has a choice of what to do. He can move this alien threat along the track, but that will be his full action for the round. He won't be able to do anything else. Now he can cancel any of the negative actions and that's the alien threat advance or the sabotage side. He may cancel those by for each one he wants to cancel moving his piece along the suspicion track here. So in this case, he would move it one along and that cancels this alien threat advance. Then these two are positive actions. So he decides which one he wants to use. So he obviously can't repair anything in here. So he wants to take the use action. And therefore in this case, as it says down here, he draws two cards and keeps one. But because of his ability, he would be able to draw three cards and keep one then the sabotage action would be to remove one of the cards from the deck here, but he doesn't have to face that. And after he's taken those actions, then McCready is put lying down to show that he's finished. And at this stage, the leader then decides whether he wants to stop rolling and move on to the next phase or to roll again. Now there's no reason that he wouldn't roll again in this case, I think. So he would roll again and that continues on throughout the game for the other characters. Okay, so let's just reset this because he didn't actually take those actions yet. Okay, and that's the way it's going to work. Okay, so let's start doing our real rolls here. And I'm the current leader, so I roll two uses and uh, alien threat advance. Okay, so I'm going to assign those to McCready here. Okay. Okay, so I do actually want to cancel this, so he moves one space along the suspicion track and then he can use the use action so he draws one two three cards and he can keep one. Oh, oh. and it's a molotov. Yeah he's got a molotov and he has an axe and a cleaver so these are all melee weapons actually none of which I actually wanted but I am going to keep one of them anyway so I'll keep the axe here. Actually, the axe and the cleaver are exactly the same and the Molotov is used to set a place on fire or it can be used to take away some alien threat, which is also actually quite yeah. useful. Actually, I go. might keep that one. Yeah. yeah. OK, so he's going to keep the Molotov. And because this is cooperative, we are going to just leave this as open information. So he has that. And then these two get returned to the bottom of the deck and McCready lies down to show he has taken his action. And now I decide whether to roll again or not. And I think of yeah. course we will. So we go again and oh, oh the exact same, same roll. <laughs> okay. So this, who would like to use an action? Well, we really need to find the keys. We really need to get some food. But we want to find the test bag. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but at this time, like it doesn't matter. It's not really yeah, important, yeah. Okay, so I think I'm going to assign these to Knowles. So Knowles is going to spend one suspicion here and that cancels this effect. And then he is going to use his special power to put just one food into the kitchen. All right, and we roll again, and this time it is. Oh, it repairs, so either of this. 
Oh, uh, only. yeah. It's only going to be Clark because we did pair. <laughs> That's yeah. right, yeah. And he's going to suffer two suspicion Next. movements. So he's green. Uh, one, two. All right. And then these are cancelled. And he gets to do the repair action. So that fixes this. Mm. Okay. And his action is done. And those are all three of my no. characters, right? <laughs> now my guys. Oh, oh no. no. Okay. This is no use to us really because we don't yeah. have anything to repair. Now, if we had at the start put somebody into the dormitory, their action would just be to lie down. That's the end of their action. And they can change the result of one of these dice. But we don't have anybody in there. Okay, so, so maybe um, we'll do that for um, copper. Okay, yeah, so copper lies down here then. We need the oil more anything. than the key. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay, and he still has to move two spaces along the suspicion track. Okay, so copper, one, two. Oh dear. We really need to get a use in here, right? Mm. Oh, oh, good. There you go. Okay, so, so let's get the oil first. So right. that would be a uh, child's. All right. So child's will go one with the suspicion trap because of this. Yeah. And then he is going to get two oils from the warehouse okay. to put to the boiler room because of his ability. So regularly you can only take one. That's mm -hmm. right. Okay. And then his action is done. So he yes. lies down. How to get used there. Yeah, I can actually stop rolling here, but we really want to use because we want to test. Yes. yes. Ah, okay. Ah, and good. no no negative results. So that's good. Okay. So Dr. Blair is going to take this laboratory bag and inside this bag is 18 failures and 12 blood bags. That's right. Yeah. And uh, let me take one just to show. So the failure is color black and the blood bag is green looks like this so if we get a, a blood bag it means that we can test our characters to see if they are alien or they are human so let me do the action and his special ability is he can take two tokens from oh, the bag it would be great to get two tests here yeah but even one because there's so many failures in the bag right two blood bags oh, oh yes you got one okay so the failure will come here and i'll take this one Oh, should I give it to somebody else's uh, later when we're in the leisure room? That's right. So yeah, we, we exchange when we're in the leisure room. Yeah, we can't share straight away. Okay, okay, so he's done for the day. All right, so that's all the actions. So then everybody comes back into the leisure room. Okay. There we go. So now we can exchange items if we like, but I don't see any need for us to give the Molotov cocktail to anybody else just now. And there's no need to exchange the blood bag either, right? Yeah, unless we have more than one and I test myself. <laughs> That's yeah? right, yeah. Okay, so okay. we're on to testing. Testing. So who do we... Okay, this is out of the game. Okay. So who... Well, we have to test. So it's a blood bank that we're testing with. Mm -hmm. So there's two types of test. Test A is if you have a blood bag. And when you test with the blood bag, you must test the person highest along the suspicion track. So in this case, that would be either Clark or Copper. Okay, so let's do it on Clark. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, no, no, no. Let's do it on Copper because Clark can avoid the dogs. So. Okay, and what's Copper's ability? Oh, he's the warehouse search. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So uh, let's do it on Copper and let's see what who copper is human He's human okay human. good Great. all so right copper is a human excellent mm -hmm. okay that's good to know on this side of the game and so because he's been proved as a human that means that his token goes right down to the green mm -hmm. section of the suspicion track i think he was the orange one right ah uh, yes yeah, sorry there mm -hmm. you go okay and Okay, so we can only do one blood test in this round and if we had the fire, sorry, if we had the flamethrower and the wire, then we would be able to do the other test as well. And that can be done on anyone, but we don't have that equipment, so we move on. 
and next is food consumption so there is food in the kitchen so we just discard any of that if there was none then we would have had to discard four from the pantry so that's not good mm -hmm. and next then is going to be leader change so this goes over to you and we've got dog movement and we have alien threat so the dog, dog movement. movement so we have this deck of cards location deck of cards and i'm going to draw four because we have four dogs yes. here yeah and they're not technically in the kennel in the first round all right okay. so the first location is weather station okay so we get a here. dog up here then we have the radio room and that's over here then we have the boiler room oh that's not wow. good for us so that's this one here and the last room is the warehouse oh there we're not going to find it easy to find our keys yeah so after you get those you put them back on the deck plus the kennel the kennel right. card and shuffle it okay okay and then the alien threat token moves down one so that's down here and then we move into a new round now this could be a good time to explain what the dogs do so when a player shares a location with a dog then he has to do a contagion check so he gets the contagion bag which is this here and this contains nine tokens now seven of them are just regular dog tokens and that means that the dog hasn't been infected but two of them are these alien tokens as you can see here and if he draws one of the contagion tokens then he immediately gets assimilated and becomes an alien so we have to try to avoid that of course yeah. you know mm -hmm. if we can but there are some other rules if two characters share a location with a dog then the dog just gets placed into the kennel and he will stay in there until the kennel location card is drawn during the dog movement phase and Clark's special ability of course is that he can ignore dogs in all locations so it doesn't matter if he shares a location with a dog and if your character has a firearm he can also ignore the encounters actually he can ignore encounters with any character if he has a firearm okay and so we're back to the weather okay so weather phase and let's hope it's a sunny day oh, after a storm so. cloudy Cloud. day okay. it makes sense you know after a storm <laughs> it's cloudy that's right, need some time to clear up. Yes. Okay, so the boiler room loses two fuel. Okay, two fuel. It's a good thing that we had Charles go out there. Yeah, right? we might have to go there again. Mm -hmm. Yep, and then one fuel from the generator. All right. And that's all that happens for now. Okay, okay. so that's the maintenance phase, and next is character movement. So I'm the leader, I will go first. Okay. I definitely want to check our other guys so I have to put Dr. Blair back to the laboratory I think that's a good idea and there's no dogs in there as well yeah I'm scared about this dog but we need oil in the in the boiler okay. maybe you should put your guy that uh, I'm just wondering because we also have to repair this to call the rescue helicopter right mm -hmm. Uh, all of that I want to get the keys as well but there's dogs yeah there. there's dogs everywhere we want to go really isn't there yeah do we need more food this round I don't think we can survive without your guy going to the food but I might bring one of my guy here and then uh, bring my second guy so we don't get an encounter to the dog and oh, the dog goes back to the idea. panel yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Okay, so then copper is going to come to the boiler because we definitely need some oil. Okay. And Childs will follow along. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And McCready is still looking for a weapon, so he's going to go into the armory. Now, he won't face encounters with dogs, so it makes sense for Clark to go to a location with a dog. Mm -hmm. He's not the best for searching. Maybe we start need to start repairing over yeah. here for the helicopter. And should I get food this round or a dormitory in case we don't get any of the rolls that we need? Ah, that's true, because that's also very... We can waste a turn if we don't get the use action. That's right. Yeah, I guess you should put him there. I think I will mm -hmm. for now. So we're going to the dormitory here. So we're going to lose four food at the end of this, but we can, you know, put him in the next round. So we'll, we'll be all right for now, I think. Okay. okay so next it's the aliens turn but he has nobody exposed and so we're on to character actions okay 
So let me see what I get. Nice, Ooh, good roll. Use. I want to assign that to Clark because there's a repair action and Clark is leading the suspicion truck. Okay. And we have this guy just in case. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he doesn't need to move up the suspicion track and he can remove one of these damage tokens. Perfect. Okay. So. And he lies down. And he doesn't need to face an encounter with the dog. And now there's two characters here with this dog, so he goes back to the kennel. Yes. Good. Oh, good these roll. are good draws. Wow. I should stay as the leader. Then. <laughs> <laughs> Put rolls like that, I'm for it. <laughs> okay, so um, I think that I will give that to, oh, to my two guys here, Childs and Copper. Okay, now this might be a good time to explain the cooperation bonus. So this mark down here with the muscle means that we can do a cooperation when we take the actions. So when there's more than one character in one of these rooms that allows a cooperation bonus, then that action can be repeated as many times as there are standing characters. And then only one of the standing characters is put lying down. And it doesn't necessarily have to be the character that was assigned the use action as well, right? Mm -hmm. So if you just do this here, then we can do it twice, right? Exactly. So I am going to assign this two childs because childs can take two oil okay mm -hmm. and then he can repeat that action for each character that's there so actually you can get well Four. you get the full three here and yeah. then it'll be full okay i wish that i can use the extras to another room <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's a pity you can't right yeah and now you choose one of those characters to lie down yeah, I'm just going to, whoever of them doesn't matter doesn't really. Doesn't make a difference, yeah. yeah. So I'm just going to lie him down. Okay. And next. Oh. Okay. So I think I take my, I take my word back. I don't want to be a leader all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Having some negative results here, but. Oh, but, but we do have the guy in the dormitory. Oh, yeah. but we have a use action. So maybe we should use it. I'll use that for Blair, for Dr. Blair. Okay. Okay, so let's get the laboratory back and see if we can get some... And before you do that, mm -hmm. he needs to move one space along the suspicion track. Oh yeah, before we forget that. Yeah. And see if we can get some uh, blood back. Oh, and good luck. I can draw two because of his special abilities. Oh, that's so great. Let's see what they are. Wow. Oh, okay. Failure. Lucky, two mm -hmm. failures. Okay. And he's gone. And now he's down there. Maybe we, this has the cooperation bonus as well. Maybe we can send more characters in there in the future. You are correct. Okay, so that's Blair and... Oh. Oh, okay. I will use that for... All uh, right. McCready. Yep. And so Knowles here is going to lie down here so that we can change this one to a use as well. Okay. So he doesn't need to go up the suspicion track. And he once again gets to draw three cards and keep one of them. And I actually want a weapon though. Uh, oh, the flamethrower is here and what? the weapon. Take the flamethrower. Well, the weapon avoids... Because you're getting a lot of tests, I'm wondering we can avoid encounters with this weapon. Mm -hmm. And that saves us going up this track. But this would go to the bottom. Yeah, I think you should take the firearm because the dogs are becoming very vicious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you know what? No, I'm going to take the firearm. Okay. For McCready. So he has a firearm and a Molotov cocktail. It would have been nice to get the, the flamethrower as well to do the tests, but I just think avoiding encounters and doing the tests with the blood bags is better for us right now. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, and there was two guys here in a room together. So they actually both should have gone one up the suspicion track when we started that phase. So because, they, uh, because of an encounter. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's a possibility that they, they could be aliens. Although we do know that that yeah. um, copper, copper is not but there is no mention that it doesn't get moved up in the one to three player game so that marker moves up there okay so that is McCready done yep and everyone yeah you, I, you there's no need to roll a dice for him because he can't actually do yeah. anything in there right so we'll stop the rolling mm -hmm. <laughs> okay so we come back to the leisure room 
and play some table tennis, some ping pong. And do we want to hand over any items to anyone? So I can give somebody the Molotov cocktail or I can yeah. just keep it on McCready. It doesn't make much difference. Mm -hmm. So any need to, I you guess can, we don't need to yeah. pass weapons, right? Keep them for now. If, if we are in a situation later that we do need to pass a weapon, we'll not test McCready just yet because we do need him. <laughs> okay. So next we're on to tests. Okay, so we can't test anyone. We don't have a blood bag. <laughs> okay, so then food consumption. So we're going to lose four food oh. this time. So what happens if this completely runs out of food and we need to consume some is that our characters go hungry. And that means that we only get to roll two action dice instead of three. So that's not good for yeah. us, right? Okay, and next is dog movement, leader change and alien threat movement. Okay, so dog movement. And hope we can we don't get the kennel. That's right. At the moment, there's only three dogs to move. Kitchen. Oh, oh. And we do need to go there. Base helicopter. Okay, not too bad for us. And shed. Oh, not too good for us. <laughs> okay. Oh. All right. Well, the kitchen is our our worst one there, right? Yeah. But well, we can put two guys there. So we can, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it just kind of limits our actions around the base. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so the leader token comes across to me then. There you Thank go. you. And then this moves one down the suspicion track. And we're back to the weather die. I get some sunny days. Yeah, we, we're due a sunny day, aren't we? No, we're storm getting a storm. Again. Okay. Okay, so that's minus three oil in the boiler. Yeah. And then we have minus two. Okay, okay so we so lose one and then we have to put a damage token in there. Wow, we need to repair this one. Yeah, because mm -hmm. if it gets dark... Yeah. then we have to assign the character before rolling the dice, right? Correct. So if this gets damaged down here with two damage markers, then this slides over here and the base is in darkness. And that means that we have to pick which character we're going to assign the dice to before we actually roll the dice. So, oh. so that makes it much more difficult, right? Yeah. Okay, and so next is character movement. So what are we doing now? We definitely need some food. Yeah, we need to repair mm -hmm. down here and we need to get, well, this is a good time for Childs, I think, to go back in and keep us get going with some oil, right? Okay, so I, I think we should deal with this too. Yeah. And also though, we have to repair that. So I think that's our priority. Okay, well, Clark can also go down here because the dog won't affect him and he can start putting oil on there. But I think that we really need to call the rescue helicopter. Okay. And it does have the cooperation bonus. Should we send more than one character yeah, in there? Yeah, we can. But, and now is the time, there's no dog in the warehouse as well. So I can go look for the keys. Excellent, okay. So our priority then is to fix this. We're definitely going to get this damage down there unless we repair it, but we need to get oil in there as well. So that's kind of tough we need to get two people in here, here. Mm -hmm. okay well first of all I'd like to put Knowles in here just so that we don't use one food but it looks a little bit too dangerous to do that right now right so yeah. let me put Clark in here so he get one and then Knowles can come down here to do a repair right yeah and maybe bring in your other guy to help him out McCready yes yeah. that's that's probably a good idea actually a what or well, yeah, I wanted to go to the dormitory for someone as well, but no, I think you're right. I think it's better if we can... We can do something there. Do some more, yeah. And my three guys will deal with these two rooms. So, uh, Charles will come here in the boiler to get two oils. Okay. And uh, Copper and Dr. Blair is going to come here to the generator. Excellent, okay. So they're going to put their suspicion token one higher later. <laughs> That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So next then is the alien and there are no exposed aliens yet. So we're on to character actions. Okay. So our first roll is... Wow. wow. Okay. Nice. So we have a repair and we have two uses. There's no point in giving it to Cooper because he's way down the suspicion track. Who's really high up? 
We could give it to Knowles. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do that. Let's give that to Knowles. Uh, so he just takes one food then. No, he takes two because your food guy is... Oh, it's not, that's not Knowles. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, this is Clark. Yeah. Sorry, yes, let's give it to Clark then. So he takes two food there and he lies down. Yeah, he doesn't get an encounter with a dog. Mm -hmm. That's right, yeah, that's his special ability. Okay, and the next roll... Oh, wow, Ooh. okay. So we should give a repair... But I think we should give the use so he can put two oil for now and the next time. Good idea, yeah, we yes. Can get a repair. Okay, so we'll give him that then. Okay, so that will be copper, and copper will take one oil, but because of the cooperation bonus, that's right. We'll he take gets two, two oil. Two, so there's two from here. Okay, he is not taking any suspicion. This is a good roll. Yeah. So that's for him. Okay, excellent. So next roll. Now we want to repair, actually. Yeah, now we'll. Oh, and we got one, that, but two uh, suspicion. Okay, so let's see who's furthest down the suspicion track here. I guess we can give this one to McCready. McCready yeah. yeah. So McCready's going to take two. Mm -hmm. One, two, and he can do a repair. Mm -hmm. So. Let's repair two because there's two of them in there. Okay. And which one should we put lying down? Well, let's put McQueedy because he's yeah. way up the suspicion track. So he goes lying down. And before we proceed to your next rolling, we I forgot to put uh, one suspicion up for both of these guys oh. because they are in the they are uh, together. So one for Copper, and another for Doctor Blair. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when two humans start yeah. in the same room, right, they do get a suspicion each. Okay, and another roll then. What do we need now? We want a use, use. right? <laughs> well, we need a use and we need a repair. Yeah, both of them. Oh, oh wow, <laughs> okay. So we actually need two repairs. So we're going to assign that to... That's the one we're most in danger of, yeah, I think. So and who's furthest down the track? Blue is actually behind, so he can take some damage. Okay, so yeah. let's give that one there to Dr. Blair. So Dr. Blair is going to repair the generator. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we'll stay going. Another roll like that would be yeah. great, right? Mm. Oh, oh, excellent. So, new, so not bad. So we can give that to... Uh, oh. We can give that to your guy. No, I tell you, let's let's give that over here to Childs because we really need oil in here and we still have plenty of time okay. to call. Well, I suppose this has to start moving, but... Mm -hmm. So, Child can can take two oil okay. because of his ability. Put it in there for you. Mm -hmm. And Child is also going to take one negative result. Oh, that's right. So, one here. Mm -hmm. Okay, those pieces look delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Jelly beans. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we need to get a repair. Come on. So repair. Oh, oh dear. Wow. Okay, that was a really, really bad roll, right? After a lot of good rolls. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just going to take the damage. Yeah. It's three, one, two, three, suspicion. We need to give him a test next time. Yeah. yeah. We actually need to get in there to get tests, right? Mm. Okay, so that's that. So everybody comes back to the leisure room. Mm -hmm. oh, that, that kind of ended badly for us there, didn't it? Yeah. And next then we do tests, but we don't have any. We don't want to pass any items across, right? Yeah, you, you're the only one who has items, McCready. So. Yeah. Okay. Then we will do food consumption. So this is gone. Mm -hmm. And then dog movement. Okay, so location, please. Okay. So we have three dogs. Okay. Okay, so three dogs. Three dogs, one in the boiler room. We can actually handle that this time because mm -hmm. we've plenty of fuel in there. One in the warehouse. I'm not so want happy to about to, that. Yeah. And armory. That's okay for us as well. Okay, 
So, yeah, so maybe we can send two guys down there, but yeah. we'll continue on anyway. So the leader token goes to you, and this moves one down the suspicion track. Oh. It's getting closer to us. Getting closer, okay. Yeah, and weather die. A nice sunny day would be good. <laughs> yeah, it's been stormy for too long. Yeah. Give us some sun. Yeah. Oh, oh cloud, okay. Not Could bad. be worse. Yeah, so we lose two from the boiler room. Yeah. And we lose one as a generator. Okay. Okay. And next is character movement. Okay. So I do want uh, Dr. Blair to go to the laboratory. Yeah. And you know what? We should get, we should let him do it more than once because we need some tests. Yeah. Our oil reserve is getting low. Our food reserve is getting low. So. Yeah. Okay. So our priority are, we need to call the rescue helicopter and that's going to take some time to get to us. So we should also try yeah. to get in here. Let's try to get the keys. So if you send, who, who is it that can get to? Is that copper? Yes. It's copper who can get, but if you bring your guy that yeah, I'll bring yeah. I'll bring McCready in there and then we won't have an encounter between yes. us because of his firearm and then he can do the action twice. So he yeah. can get four cards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Copper is going to come here. All right. And uh, my last guy. We need... Why don't you send... No, help, help get some tests, I would say. Okay. So then my last guy is going to come to the laboratory. They will move, remember? <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay, so McCready is going to come in here and he can handle dogs, but there's we're not going to go to the no, no, fuel to the gen. To it's the... either we f uh, finish repairing this or start putting oil. Okay, mm -hmm. then maybe I'll send Noles could go in here and get some yeah, food. Yeah, get some food. We need to kind of rush though and do some stuff. Maybe we can take around without food. No oh dog. no but there's no dogs in there so yeah. let's do that now and I, I think the best way for him to do is uh finish repairing the radio station so we can have an option with the, hel the helicopter to start moving. yeah okay mm -hmm. let's do that so we come in here and he's going to try to do a repair okay all right okay so give me some good rolls good luck good, good. I needed those. Oh, you not bad, not mm -hmm. bad. Okay, so I am going to do that. Uh, so first of all, hold on, encounters. Ah, true. So these guys are going to move one up each. So that's so, purple and red, one each. So purple and red. Okay. Okay, and then this dog is going to go into the kennel, but there's no encounter because McCready has a firearm. Okay. So I am going to give this to McCready or to Copper. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Copper then can draw two. So who's... So Copper's ability is he can draw three cards and keep one. And he can do that two times because of the cooperation uh, bonus. Excellent. So... Okay. So let's move him up the suspicion track first. And mm -hmm. then... Six cards. One, two, three. Three, it's done twice, right? Okay, so yeah. two sets of three. Oh, I've got the key. Excellent. Yeah, so I'm getting the key. Okay, and this go on the bottom and then you can do that action one more time. Okay, and I've got a lot of keys. So oh, I have okay. the wire. Oh, right. But the flamethrower is right down at the bottom of this. <laughs> we should have taken the flamethrower. But we anyway, I'll, I'll take the wire just in case we can find Good. another flamethrower. Good idea, yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the other one is the torch and that prevents you from uh, suffering in darkness. You yeah. still get the rolls. So this goes back on the bottom of the deck. And I am going to... Uh, lay down McCready because at least we can get a few more items there. Sure. Okay. Because there's really nothing to do there. So. Okay. Next. Oh, I mm, should give that to. Good. Yeah. Let's. Uh, this is um, Clark is one that is the. Yeah, but there's no repair. Oh, it's no repair. Yes. Yeah, so it so should be. So I'm going be... to give that to Copper. All right. So he's going to take two hits because of this. Two hits yeah. and please give me uh, three cards, please. Okay, good luck. One, two, three. We get something nice. Uh, kerosene. 
Ah, uh, maybe. Oh, that's yeah. good. So we can put this in the snow cut. Excellent. So okay. I'll take the kerosene. Okay, so the kerosene can be used to put a fuel in the location where my character is, and yeah. that doesn't count as an action. That's yeah? right. Yeah. Okay, so please put down. Um, yeah. Copper. Copper and next repair. So oh, I'm definitely excellent. Again, ah, oh, but I do want him to get some use just in case, you know. Just in case I won't get a use a result next time. Okay. So I am going to assign this to uh, Dr. Blair. Okay, so... Dr. Blair is going to take one hit. Yeah. And let's get the laboratory bag. <laughs> okay. And because of the cooperation, I can draw four. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Just give me some green oh, tokens. Oh, you need lots of them. Yeah. What black? Oh two no, black. two more. Two more. Come on. Green and oh, a black. Only one. Only okay. One. okay. Okay, so not bad. At least we get At one. At least we got one, yeah. So I guess you're going to yes. lay this guy down, right? I'm going to lay down childs because I need to get more. Okay. Alright, so one more. I need to repair. Oh, there's oh, your there you go. You're a little bit far yeah, from you the can truck use that, though. But m maybe we can use that to get some food. Yeah, so I'll give that to Knowles. Okay, Knowles, there you go. And Another one of those rolls would be great. Yeah, I will try. I'll use, so use. he can't use that. Yep, so that's here. So. Wow, now is Dr. Blair is very close to the alien. Yeah. Maybe we can do a test on him though, and yeah. if he's human, at least he'll move back down the track. So I'll get two. Oh, oh two yes. yes, well done. Okay, oh, that's good. I need to give some of you of the tests. <laughs> yeah, uh, test, maybe uh, tokens. Give them to Clark or something. He's way yeah. down the track. So now he's down, and then next. Need a repair. Yes. Okay. But you have to move two times. One, two. And then he can just remove one of these. Okay. So we probably need to send two guys there next time. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Everybody's back to the leisure room. Okay. Oh, good job, guys. Yeah, that was a good roll. Uh, now, that was a good turn. <laughs> it was. Now, so we're going to have to test... Uh, Dr. Blair. So I suggest that you give away two of those yes. tests to anybody else. Maybe uh, this is McCready. Maybe McCready is the best one to give them to. Yeah, but McCready has items too. So let's give it to the others. That... I'm just thinking because he's uh, furthest back on the suspicion track, he's least likely. Or you could give it to Clark because he doesn't get encounters yeah. with the dogs. So, no, I'll give one to Clark. Okay. And I give the other to to one of my guy childs maybe. Okay. Or, or maybe McCready, yeah. Maybe you're right. Yeah. McCready. Okay. And so then we move on to tests. So I guess Dr. Blair should do yeah. a test on himself. I'm scared though. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so here's one test and Dr. Blair is one human. Yes! Human! Okay. Ah, that's good. So his suspicion goes way down to green here. Okay. Oh, that was good. Mm -hmm. I was worried about that there. <laughs> okay, so next then, we because we can only, only do one test, we're on to food consumption, so we just lose one. So that, this was a better round for us, right? Yeah. And now dog movement. Okay, so... So there's two in the kennels. Two in the kennel, so we so, need two unless the kennel card comes out. Exactly. Base helicopter. Okay, well, we haven't been focusing on there, yeah. so not bad. Laboratory. Well, we don't need to we, go in there now because we have tests, uh, yeah. so that's that's it for now. Ah, uh, that's good. Yeah. I was okay. about to pull off one <laughs> and I realized there's only two dogs. All yeah, right. the other two are in the kennel, so that's, that's good for us. Drop them in the kennel. <laughs> Okay, so the leader token comes across to me then, and the alien moves down one along the track. 
Mm-hmm. All right, and weather. We forgot to put some oils in here. Oh, I'm predicting a nice sunny day. But we got storm. a storm. <laughs> this is bad for us. So the alien is moved and stormy minus three oil. So one and two damage here. Oh dear. So if the boiler gets completely damaged, then it cannot be repaired ever again. And then a new freezing track will come out. Yeah. And so we'll have to try to use the flamethrower to burn stuff or the Molotov cocktail to burn stuff, right? Mm-hmm. But for now, okay, well, we we might be able to repair it. So okay. that's three from there and then... Two from the generator. So that's one and one damage hook in there. All right. Mm -hmm. We really need to figure out our way out. Actually, the snow cut because you have the yeah. keys is probably our and best And the kerosene. Bet. So I'll probably bring copper there. Okay, so that's everything done on this track, right? Mm -hmm. So we will do our character movement. Mm -hmm. So I'm the leader this time, so I'll move my characters first. I would suggest you finish the radio station. Yeah, mm -hmm. maybe bring two characters in there so that we yeah. can get two. So I'll bring, let's see, if I'm going with two characters, I'm going to bring McCready in for one. Okay. So that they don't have an encounter. Mm-hmm. And then the second one, is there anybody in particular that would be good? Are we going for food? What's our plan here? Like, I think that we've enough food for two full rounds. Two full rounds. Yeah. Right. Maybe maybe I should bring Knowles yeah. in there. We still bring Knowles there. Two full. I, I'm not, I don't want to be pessimist, but two rounds is, I don't think. <laughs> it's, it's not a whole lot, not a whole is it? Lot. Yeah. We definitely are going to need to bring Childs in there, though. Mm and but i'm not very worried because even if we even if that is totally damaged we have the molotov cocktail to put some fire around that's true yeah that's worst case Let I'm give us still some gonna time repair yeah, it, yeah. <laughs> okay so in that case we're not sending anybody into the laboratory yeah. so i can just send clark in here and then mm -hmm. maybe one of them can repair it and then the other can call yeah. the can call the helicopter. the helicopter. Okay. So for me, I will definitely bring a copper here because he has the kerosene Excellent. and he has yeah. the keys and we need to put start putting oil there. And I will use Blair, Dr. Blair, to help him. So they're both going to go up one on the suspicion oh. track, remember? No. Yeah. No, 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 no. That's wrong. I will put Dr. Blair in the generator and I will put a child's at the boiler room. Okay. Mm -hmm. Should we put somebody in here to change a role? Are we okay? No, we're okay where we I are? I think we're okay where we are. Okay, so that's the movement. So there's no exposed aliens at the moment. So character actions. Mm -hmm. Give us some good rolls. Pray for some good ones. Mm -hmm. That's oh. not too bad. So that's the repair that we need. Yeah. Oh, we need three repairs. Okay. <laughs> I want to get the, the Heli helicopter coming first. Yeah. yeah. So. so let's assign that to McCready. Mm -hmm. And then that's gone. And then he can do the repair action. And because there's two of them there, that mm -hmm. is now fixed. And also they don't get an encounter between them because uh, one of your guy. Yeah, McCready has the firearm. He has a rifle there. Mm -hmm. And then... So which one should we put lying down? Like McCree, <laughs> they're Literally yeah, the they're on the same. same. Yeah. So let's use it here. Well, who are we going to test next? McCree, I would say. We we don't actually yeah. know because one of them could go up on the suspicion track. So mm -hmm. let's do that then. Okay. So next roll. Next roll indeed. Oh, not a good one. No. It's another repair, which is good. Oh, let's... Okay, I'm going to assign that down here to Dr. To, Blair. Okay, so Dr. Blair is going to repair this. And, and before doing that... Before, he's going to have two negative results. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he's done. done. Wow. Terrible roll. Okay, so... <laughs> Given. We are going to have a serious problem here. There is going to be an encounter for sure. Mm -hmm. Whoever I assign this to 
either becomes an alien or sabotages their location and the alien moves two spaces forward. So I think that the best bet here is to assign those to Childs because let's see. So our choices are to either take these hits and do the sabotage and move the alien two steps along, right? Mm -hmm. Or if Charles moves up here, he'll have to do the sabotage anyway. So it looks like the boiler is in trouble no matter what we do. And then it'll just be him. He'll be assimilated and the alien will stay there. But if we take these and we do the sabotage, and then we move the alien two along. He'd be on the space with five guys, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's say we pick Charles and Charles get assimilated mm -hmm. and becomes an alien. Then I think maybe the best bet then would be everybody then uh, everybody. passes. Yeah, so we don't... So that at least if we pass, then we can move him on the next turn for... That's times. right, yeah. So mm -hmm. the way that the alien movement works is if he starts his turn on a space with no other suspicion disks, with no suspicion disks, then he moves one space to the left. However, if he starts his turn on a space with suspicion disks, then he counts how many suspicion disks that are on that space with him, and then he moves to the right that number of spaces. So he would actually move back. This one will be gone, so he would move back one, two, three, four, and that would actually give us some more time. Yeah, to, to finish at least putting the oils in the snow cut. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that's my suggestion. Now, I assign these to Charles, so Charles has but, to decide what to do with them, right? Let's go for it. Like, I mean, Charles doesn't have any um, item at the moment, so... Yeah. And I think we already have the key, and also the boiler is going to be gone, so his skill is going to be that useful. That's right. Okay, yeah, okay. So okay. should we do that? Yeah, let's, let's move the alien. <laughs> okay, so first of all, we get a sabotage down here. And now the boiler is gone for the rest of the game. So we we have used the sabotage already. And let's just move these off here. They can go back in here. And now we get this freezer, this freezer tab or this freezer spot. And this is the marker that goes on it. Mm -hmm. So if this marker reaches the end, then we freeze to death. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we lose the game. But if, for example, this has moved down here and we managed to set something on fire, say, for example, with the Molotov cocktail here, then this will move back up the track so it will be able to buy us more time. And we can set, like, maybe the helicopter spot on... Adjacent to it, yeah. Yeah, because we haven't been able to fix that. Mm -hmm. We have... We should be able to make the rescue helicopter start moving from the next turn and I think the snowcat's probably our best bet for getting out of here. What do you think? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Anyway, the fire won't spread towards our uh, snow cat. Okay. okay. But anyway, let's let's see how we go. So for now, this guy has to move two steps forward. And now he's on a space with all of these mm -hmm. discs. So we have to choose one to assimilate. So first, of course, is child. So okay. when... The, uh, when the character is assimilated by the alien, that means you remove all his tokens and cards from the game. That's right. So, so child is gone. gone. He's this now an alien. Vision disc is gone too. And so then when the first character dies or gets assimilated, then the alien gets five mm -hmm. tokens. So he's got one, two, three, four, five. So this is an alien strength of five. And... From the next time on, any time a character or a dog is assimilated, he'll just get one extra. But for now, he has five, so he's pretty strong, right? Okay. Yep. Yeah. And that's different to the four to eight player game where he gets half of the number of players. But anyhow, so we leave those aside for now. And yeah, then... Yeah, the rest won't have their goal. Yeah, so mm -hmm. that's right. So these have now been resolved. And I have a choice of rolling more, but yeah, I yeah, think we're we, not going to chance it. Okay, yeah, I think so. we'll go with our plan. 
have the alien move back. Mm -hmm. Okay, so everybody comes back to the leisure room. Okay. And we discuss the loss of our friend. Mm -hmm. And now, do we want to pass any items around? So, who are we going to test later? So, Maybe? I think that we should test the person that's least risky to us. Like somebody mm -hmm. that will, will use the least. And that's probably Clark, I would say. Because he can ignore dogs. Mm -hmm. But so can, so can McCready. Because he has the firearm. So he can also ignore other characters. So I say that we have to test one of these. So we can yeah. test anybody except for Dr. Blair, right? Okay, yeah. And we need to keep Noel because there, these are only two rounds if we don't get food. Yeah. Okay, so okay. we're not going to pass items and now we move on to testing. Yeah. So let's test Clark. Clark. Oh, wait. Clark has a test. Oh, we can test him using his own yeah. test. Okay, so he is going to spend this test and... Let's see what he is. He oh, is a uh, human. Oh, good. <laughs> okay, so that's good news anyway. So Clark now can move back to the green spot. So he is green and... Oh, actually the alien is only going to move three spots. But Yeah, but that will still buy us a little bit of time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we can use a lot of suspicion yeah. with him. Okay, so next is food. Is so we're it? going to lose four food. I'm going to starve soon. <laughs> yeah, I think Noel's is going to have to start going back in there. Mm -hmm. And dog movement. Okay. So we only have two this time, unless we draw the kennel. And hopefully we don't get the kennel. Shed. Shed. Okay, oh. we didn't want that. But yeah. we're okay because we can send our guys down there. Weather station. Okay, that's all right for us too. Oh, we'll have a third dog locked up this time, yeah. probably. Because I, I think we should focus on putting the fuels and the snow cat. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think so too. Okay, so leader moves across to you. And now this moves back to the right. One, two, three spaces. Because there's three discs here. Yes. Okay, so now let's have the weather forecast. Okay, <laughs> we could do with a sunny day. We haven't had a single sunny day. Yeah. Cloudy. It's cloudy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right, so now we are in trouble down there in the generator. generator. Yeah. Might have to work in the darkness, huh? Yeah. So, okay, so the generator gets one. So mm -hmm. we still haven't damaged it too much one and then we move the freezer one along here so that goes to there and, and we haven't called the helicopter no we haven't called the helicopter yet we will actually do that this turn maybe and yeah. hopefully a couple of sunny days will get it moving a sunny day moves it along four spaces right so we need yeah. one sunny day we need two sunny days <laughs> But I'm hoping to escape on the snow cat. I think that's more realistic than the Yeah, helicopter. I think that's more mm -hmm. likely, right? Yeah, so let's focus in there. Okay, but we'll probably give it a call anyway, just so that we have it coming in yeah, case something in case. happens with the snow cat. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So my first guy who can uh, put the fuel there and with the key is uh, Copper. So Copper is going to the shed okay and one of my guys has to come there because he has the kerosene so that means two okay no i'll send mccready down so that we don't have an encounter and the dog can go back can in the kennel okay so we have one test so we do actually need more tests we have one test so maybe i'll bring him in the laboratory okay but if we if we are to escape this round then we don't really need to test anybody right or should we put three guys there? Because in case we don't get the use action, we won't be able to put all the fuels that we need. Oh, that's true. Yeah, because if we only put two, our chances are like, hopefully we get the use action, but if not... Yeah, maybe we should just put everyone down there, yeah. except for Knowles, and let him get some food. Some food, yeah. No, bring your other guy to call the helicopter so it starts moving. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then I'll put uh, Dr... Dr. Blair here. Okay, so they will face an encounter between them anyway because Blair can only stop, or not Blair, um, McCready can only stop 
the effects of himself. Okay. So he's going to come down in there too. We need Norris to get some food. This is going to get destroyed the next turn, but we'll worry about that next turn, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. We'll just try to escape this turn. Yeah. <laughs> okay. In that case, I probably don't need to call the rescue helicopter, right? Okay, so we're going to have the alien phase this round, right? Mm -hmm. And how that works is we have these alien strength tokens. We have five of them at the moment, right? And so we will look at the location that has the most characters, which in this case at the moment has three. And so the strength goal of the alien is going to be that number plus one. So that's four. Mm -hmm. And then he'll draw a location card and he'll put the four strength on it. And then if he has any left over, he'll draw another location card and he'll put that strength on it. And those are the locations where he will attack. Okay. So why don't we put the, our last guy there? Let's all go there. And then yeah, we'll have one we location. Have, that's right. We'll only have one location to deal with. Okay, okay. So in that case, I will do that. And he can ignore the dog as well. But it won't make any difference because the dog's going to the kennel. Okay, so these guys are all in this location. So what's going to happen is the dog is going to get sent back to the kennel. Mm -hmm. and McCready has a firearm so he's not going to have any encounters but the other three of these get one each so, so we're, we have a uh, copper we have dr. Blair and we have Clark okay okay yeah all right and next is the alien actions okay so the alien is going to go for a strength of five actually because it's yeah. four plus one so that is only going to be one location. So mm -hmm. let's hope it's not the shed or the kitchen. Let's so hope. we play one face down. And mm -hmm. Then we put five tokens on it. Now, if we had any left over, we would now draw another card and put the remainder on it. And if yeah. that reached five as well, we'd draw yeah, another card. card. But uh, we don't have any more. So we can flip this over. And it is the boiler, boiler room. room. Okay. Oh. So we get one, two, three, four, five strength alien in the boiler room. So okay. these tokens actually represent strength of aliens as well as these. And so in the boiler room, which is actually destroyed, we are going to get a strength four and a strength one. So they're not going to bother anyone this turn, luckily. Oh, this, I hope we can get out now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they can't sabotage in there either, right? So yeah. we're, we're safe enough in there. Okay. And this uh, location goes back. Okay, so this is actually very lucky for us because they would sabotage in there if they had have been in an empty room yeah. or they would have assimilated someone. So now we can take our character actions. Oh, use. Okay, so before I assign this, let me use my kerosene to add one fuel. So this is not an okay. action. Yep, and that so, comes in here. So mm -hmm. we need three more. Okay, so I am going to assign this to, not to this two, because if we get two or three later, they can take it. Okay. I'm going to give it to uh, McCready. Okay, so McCready is yes. going to take one, one suspicion. One suspicion, and now, we can use the uh, cooperative bonus. That's right, mm -hmm. yes. So he's going to put down the three that we need. So that's one, two, and three. You can actually even put one more <laughs> yeah and so now we have to lie down three characters right so i think everybody except for oh we have to the key give is it to the, with copper with copper okay so let's lay down everybody but copper okay so those three are done mm -hmm. oh i hope copper can survive this yeah i hope so too if we find a use, then we can escape now, right? We have a chance. The alien still will come one last time. Okay. So I'm going to give that to uh, Noel. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. So he's going to take one food in here and lie down. And he takes two. So one, two. Oh, this is very dangerous. This okay. is really dangerous. So you need a use this time and no, no bad results. Oh, you and that. one. We Excellent. can take that. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to. So the bad result is for copper. So one. 
and then now we need the use to take off. Okay, so what's going to happen now is we're going to try to escape by the snow cat. So Copper has the keys, so he uses the use action to use the keys and to use the snow cat to escape on. So he gets on and then he gets to decide whether the other characters get on the snow cat with him or not. Now, if any aliens escape with us, then we lose the game. But also we lose the game if we leave any humans behind. So we have to get all of the humans onto the snow cat and leave. And at the moment we have one, two untested. Okay. Yeah. We have two and we never tested Childs either. So there is a possibility that the two of these are aliens or that one of them is an alien. And we don't know. We didn't do yeah. the, the test, right? Yeah, we didn't too. And, but... Before we do that, in the one to three player game, the alien is going to make a last desperate attempt to stop us. So he's going to bring his full strength down to the snow cat. So Let's do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is a four strength and a one strength. So these miniatures are interchangeable with the strength tokens. And these miniatures only come with the Kickstarter version. They're not in the main version. They're standees in the retail version of the game. But anyhow, so they go down there and that gives them a strength of five. So they roll five dice and if they get three, three negative results and that's the sabotage or the alien advance threat or sorry, the alien threat advance. If they get three or more of those, then we fail our attempt at escaping and we just skip on to the next phase and we have to try, try again, again next time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So I'll roll three first. Okay. So good luck. No positive, please. Oh, yes, okay. And you have to roll two more. Two so more. actually, we're going to be able to escape. Regardless of what the result. Oh, wow. Oh, none at all. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty we didn't get that the whole way through the game, yeah. right? Okay. So now Knowles escapes. Sorry, not Knowles. Uh, who's that? Copper. Copper escapes. Okay. So next we go to the Lois and the Suspicion track. And are we going to let... Clark on board. Yes, he's human, so. So Clark is on board. Are we going to let uh, Dr. Yeah, Dr. Blair is human. So Dr. Blair goes on. So we don't know about McCready yet, and we do know that Clark is a human. No, sorry, that's not Clark, that's Knowles. We don't know about McCready or Knowles. Yeah, but I would say we'll take them because. If both of them are alien, we lose, but they've been very helpful throughout. <laughs> they have. Yeah, my my feeling is that we'll take them and not leave them behind, you know? What do you think? I mean, it's... Oh, so this is a dangerous decision. Now, the other thing that we can do is we can leave them behind and test them, and then they would have to find another way to escape. But I don't think that we're going to have enough time to get the base helicopter or the rescue helicopter, neither of them have moved yet. Yeah, neither of them have moved yet. We haven't fixed the base helicopter, so I think we should just chance it. Yeah, we have to take a chance yeah. on this, right? Okay. And there's only two of them, so they will just be flying from here and there, and the food supply is only uh, three left. That's right, yeah. And the fuel supply is only... Oh, oh not that they need a the fuel to... They wouldn't need the fuel for the rescue helicopter, yeah. no. And they only need one for the base helicopter. But the amount of time that it would take and with only two characters. Yeah, and the alien is here, close to them. Okay, so. so I think we make a call on it. Now, I think one of them is going to be an alien. You think? I have high hopes that they are both human. Yeah. Yeah, so I would take them. If I mean, if, if we leave one, who? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so as the leader... You must decide now whether to take McCready or not. Yes. We'll okay. take McCready in. McCready is on and... No human is left <laughs> behind. Okay. And finally, Knowles. Please take me. Please take yeah, me. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, he's been feeding us the whole time. Yeah. yeah. I'll take him. Sounds like a, an alien manipulative <laughs> strategy. Okay. So we're taking them. Yeah, we're taking them. Okay, so everybody's on the snow cat now and they are about to leave. Okay. So it is down to whether McCready and Knowles are aliens or not. So let me put them out here to the middle mm -hmm. of the board. So this is McCready 
and this is I'll just show the key that we have the keys here that's right mm -hmm. yep okay so this is not i'm a crazy oh god i hope they are human <laughs> so <laughs> nose <laughs> is human oh god yes and mccready mccready oh don't be an alien don't mccready an alien. he liked his weapons earlier i can't pick up the card now he's oh! human <laughs> We escaped. That's so was a child a human then or an alien? He is he's been assimilated, but let's see. Child is Oh a he's human. human as well. Wow, so the two cards that didn't come out must have been the two aliens. There were two aliens. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's important to maintain the base, meaning making the generator and the boiler room a priority, at least for the first half of the game. It's important to keep both of them up and running as they both can slow down your escape plan. If the generator is broken, you will have to play in darkness, so you will have to assign the dice to a character before you roll. This is dangerous because you cannot plan ahead. As for the boiler room, if it's broken and the base starts to freeze, your time can quickly run out. Child's ability to add two fuel was a great help to us here. Dogs are very dangerous because if you draw the alien dog token out of the bag, then you're assimilated immediately. That's why we always try to send two characters to a space with a dog to send them back to the kennel. Clark's ability was also very good here because he was able to take actions ignoring the dogs. If you get your hands on a blood bag, then you can decide where to assign the bad roles based on that. You can only test the character highest on the suspicion track with a blood bag. So you might as well move them as far along the track as you can, because after that, they can either turn out to be an alien or be above suspicion and go back to the first space on the track. McCready is able to find weapons easily because of his ability. It's a good idea to equip him with a firearm because then he can move freely around the board and not worry about encounters. If there's only one other character on his location, that character doesn't need to worry about encounters either, so their tokens stay low on the suspicion track. He's also a great partner to have if you need to go to a location with a dog. The cooperation bonus is very useful in getting things done quickly. You can send a character with an ability to a location and use the ability multiple times. This was very useful to us for finding blood bags, repairing the radio room and fueling the snowcat. I'm glad it was Dly's decision there at the end to decide whether or not to let everyone on the snowcat. I definitely would have left someone behind. We were very lucky that none of us got the alien card. That's the first time I've ever seen that happen. So that's it for today. You have been watching The Thing, the board game on All Aboard. Thanks a lot for watching and see you on our next video. Thanks for staying with us. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And also please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you again on our next video. Bye. Bye.